And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later over there for some more Naya Feather. I really like playing this deck and we haven't played it in a little while, so I feel like it's time to bring it back. I'm not really changing anything in the main deck. I, I like how the main deck's been playing, but I am changing up the sideboard. Before I had three copies of um, Cinder Vines, and it just doesn't really feel like Cinder Vines is a very important card in the metagame right now with how little uh, Wilderness Reclamation there is around. And I still have Knight of Autumns. Still have Knight of Autumns to like destroy artifacts and enchantments. So I put in a fourth Knight of Autumn. I only had three before. But that's a card that I really want against Mono Red. And besides that, um, I got into Johnny. So basically for like other anti-control stuff, instead of playing Cinder Vines, I wanted a couple more four mana Planeswalkers. So we got one of these Johnnies that can bring back Hero and 10th District Legionnaire uh, in particular and Swift, Swift Blade Vindicator and put counters on stuff. So we got one of those in the board. We've got a couple of Chandras also for some card advantage that also can deal damage. And the other thing that we were kind of missing before was a Tristani. So I got a Tristani in here for those mass manipulation decks. Also a good card versus Mono Red. All right, so we're going to try this out. Uh, this deck's called Naya Feather. <clears throat> I guess I didn't really describe the deck very much, but it's called Naya Feather because, you know, it is built around Feather with having Feather plus 11 pump spells or, like, 11 spells to target it with a Colossus. Sorry, I need a little water there. Uh, Thrash and Integrity. But unlike other Feather the Redeemed decks that play just like a bunch of crappy pump spells uh, that aren't that aren't very good on their own, all these can do other things. Like, you know, if you don't have a creature out for... You don't have to worry... Like, your Integrity is not just going to be a dead card in your hand because you can still cast Intervention and kill something or deal damage to, like, a Planeswalker or your opponent. Um, this one is kind of the, the most reliant on having a creature you know with just having collision that's why there's only three of them but if you don't have a, a creature for thrash then you can still just make a threat as well um so it all works out pretty well so you know it is here so <clears throat> since these are all multicolored cards feathers multicolored tenth district legionnaire multicolored decided to go hero precinct one route as well uh, and have all this multicolor stuff because all these cards are just pretty cool um yeah, Aurelia is pretty nice in this deck. If you if you don't have Aurelia's, you could replace them. You know, like they could Aurelia's could be replaced by like the four mana planeswalkers, you know, like a Johnny Chandra, that kind of stuff. If you don't have Aurelia's. Um but it's a pretty nice card to back up any of these other things. You know, it's another thing with Mentor for Vindicator. It also, you know, helps pump your Vindicator. Uh, yeah, it's it's a, just a solid card. Um, no, I don't think I don't think you need Tristani main board because of the the steel, the mass manipulation decks. Those are pretty popular, but they're still only like I don't know, like 10, 15 percent of the metagame. And a five mana card is pretty expensive. This deck is trying to be really aggressive, so I'm just gonna uh, play some matches in the. Uh, traditional constructed queue today. Your, your Hawali Aurelia. I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty. There we go. Hey Vit Vittorio. Hello. Yeah, I like this deck quite a bit. So we had two sweet donation decks for today. Also to try out, one of them is, you know, another Hero of Precinct 1 deck. So we're going to play two of those, so I'm spacing those out. The Spellbreaker could potentially attack for a lot of damage. We get to double Colossus it in a little while. Sometimes in the traditional constructed queues, though, you do play against some more introductory decks. Not always. But sometimes you do, and that's what it kind of looks like here with some Duskborn Sky Marchers. 
Looks like we got some vampires. The hour of dusk is come. Let's play this feather. Nothing can block some one ones pretty well. Unfortunately, it's not going to have. It's not going to have Vigilance, though. I can't double spell, either. I'll still just play this Domrian fight. And then hold Feather back. To protect Domri. <laughs> the sound of a stampede coming straight at ya. Throwing those vampires. Hmm. Well, didn't get to. Uh, don't get to double spell unless I just, like, cast Collision and Colossus. I guess I'm just going to let... Just let Domri die? Nah, no reason to. No reason not just to sit back. No, I'm not playing any modern lately. Nope, all standard all the time. Hey, Azur. Not much. So yeah, only two cards left in our opponent's hand. We're looking great here. It doesn't really matter that our Domri's dying here. I'll be back after I've licked my wounds. You'll see. Because we got another one. I'm a crazy beast. Where do you see my mates? My wild beasts will bring your comeuppance. And time for Feather to start finishing this out. Hmm. I will teach you humility if I must. I'm gonna take out this turn. Now do you see the benefits? And then you know basically minus the next three turns. The reason why I'm not really minusing here, because if I minus Domri goes to three loyalty and so does a Johnny, like both of them would die to a Ma like Maverin would be able to kill either one if they attack. And if they kill the feather and attack. Um, don't get to do 12 because we have the, the planes. I can't Colossus and Colossus. Can't do both. Let's just haste a Spellbreaker. Put some counters on stuff. Light shall always conquer darkness. Have this fight, Maverin Fane. Wild beasts are bringing your comeuppance. Hey, Dark Claw. Um, 
Uh, yeah, Deckmaster may not be working. I don't know. I have it up, but it's not... It's not all green like it usually is. I'll just say no blocks. It's fine. Um... I guess just in case there's something weird. If I have to light the way, I will. Okay, Deckmaster's down today. Hey, Blue Jin. Alright, so against the Vampire deck, I probably want these... Deafening Clarions. We didn't get to really do anything super cool. With our deck that game. If the board's getting cleared up, or if it's getting gummed up, especially on the ground, I don't think I want Tajik, so I'll take out Tajik. Um... They have a lot of cast downs. Maybe I should make my deck better against cast down. I don't think it matters too much, to be honest. I'm going to trim one integrity also. No, let's trim a collision. Oh, yeah, that's true. I could have coil for Alenda, that whenever Alenda dies, she makes a whole bunch of vampires. Could have Coil to try to stop that. I think we'll be fine. I'm not really too worried about anything we saw there that game. Though. I think our, our biggest thing will be, uh, again, seeing if we draw lands or not. <laughs> there we... See if we can get up to Aurelia. Yeah, the Golgari mid-range land destruction deck. Yeah, that deck's good. Yeah, that's a good deck. Especially if you have a lot of people at your LGS how you're talking about what to play tonight. You have a bunch of people at your LGS playing... Um, playing, like, three and four color decks without very many basics then it's better. If you have a lot of people just kind of playing like, you know, mono red and stuff like that, it's not going to be as good. I don't know if, did we draw any lands last game? I don't think we did, did we? Okay, I guess we do have lands in here. All right, good. Linda. I don't really know how or why I would need integrity here, but I'm gonna, just going to go ahead and shock and keep integrity up. But with us having two creatures, though, I'm not going to go ahead and shock again. Dispark. I 
That animation on Alenda is really cool. I like that. Dusk Rose. <laughs> yeah, they, they are very desperate making that play. So technically my best play is at up to do that at upkeep so they can't attack with those creatures the next turn. But I think we'll be fine. I'm just doing the easier play. And we have like infinite pump spells. Just get to use an infinite removal. Just get to use them one a turn. Well, the thrash, I guess I could use two a turn. Okay. All right, we're going to pump up the feather. Oh, right, it's not fighting. It's just dealing damage. Oh, I should have pumped up the Vindicator. Oh, well. Right, right. Hey, Chronic Slayer. Okay, we got our warm-up game in for today. Kicking it off there with that victory. And here we go. We actually got to draw and play Feather both of those games and have Feather, you know, be a big part of winning both of those games. Remember one of the times recently that we played this deck, uh, I, I didn't actually have, like, I don't think I drew Feather, like, the entire league, <laughs> like, at all. Just, so people were uh, joking that it was the Featherless Feather deck. Hey, Eisen F. Happy Thursday. It's not very good because we don't have white mana, and every single spell is white, including these two that are double white. I think I'm going to go ahead and mulligan this. Because it's like, if I don't draw white mana, it doesn't do anything. And we just lose. But even if I do draw white mana, it's fine, but not anything uh, spectacular. I like this more. The Light Fiend. That's card's really annoying for Swift Blade Vindicator. But good thing about Tajik is Tajik can prevent the damage to the Vindicator. Hmm. Firebrand is even more annoying for Vindicator. So I guess I'm just going to go ahead and play the Temple Garden, I suppose. Gross. Good curve out. Good curve out. This is, you know, very similar deck to what we'll be playing later on with the Mardu, uh, Mardu Hero. What should we call that?
Hmm. So I can only play one spell. So let's make it the more expensive one. If we draw a land, we could go like Feather plus Thrash, or I could even like Domri Thrash. Uh, need to kill the Judith. Down to six. Yeah, preferably. Um. Give my creature vigilance, put a counter on it. No, nah, that's not good. Good hand for the opponent, good hand for them. I don't know why why is the mayhem devil not attacking? Like why why would that not attack? I think I need I think I just need the life. Honestly. Oh no, Chronic Slayer, you're good. You're good. No, no yeah. No it's labeled at all, you're good. I, I just wrote the I had it labeled up I put it up on my stream decker as Naya or sorry, as Mardu Hero and I didn't adjust that. Oh, that firebrand was perfect. It's the only block that keeps me alive here. That firebrand was perfect. Now do you see the benefits of peace? Yeah, I probably should have attacked with the Vindicator there also, honestly, because, yeah, because I, I would have made the Vindicator a 2-2. Two -two. They only had the Devil to block. I was thinking I didn't really want the, to trade that, but honestly, that's that's a trade I should have made. So I, I should have attacked with the Vindicator the previous turn. I don't think I can stay alive. Yeah, I cannot. I can, I, I can play this to block Devil, and I can Collision kill the phoenix on their turn but i'm still taking five and i'm at four so i should have attacked with the vindicator also that previous turn all right let's get dawnbringer let's get these coils the clarions the tristani um vindicator one toughness to two toughness those are going to go ahead and leave um, I think I'm taking out Collision also. So let's see. Dom, yeah, maybe Domri. Yeah, well, Domri helps me play these five mana cards. Yeah, no, I need to take out Domri. I 
I'm going to play the four mana Johnny that can give me back two drops. Um, or if the battlefield stalls out, which is what you know the goal is, that a Johnny wins battlefield stall outs by making my creatures very big and then ultimating. I don't think... I don't think I'll ever sideboard out hero. My hand doesn't do very much, but I like having lands. Uh, yeah, like this. This is going to be a four mana four four. They'll be playing there. Well, Tajik does prevent uh, damage to other creatures with, like, Foot Light Fiend and stuff. I took out, like, the weakest creature to that with taking out the Vindicator. And it just doesn't block well at all. Not ideal, you know, not drawing anything to play before turn four after keeping the hand. Really, Spellbreaker? Could have been last turn. I think, all right, so I think, so plan it, so do I want to just intervention and kill this Dreadhorde Butcher? Yeah, I mean, I think that's what I'm supposed to be doing. Just get this thing out of there. All right. I'm gonna keep the coil because you know we've seen like rekindling phoenix. Even like Judith would be the only thing would to be kind of tough. My friend is here to help your pain. Even coiling these gutter bones. Um, Yeah, I'm so close to dying. That's it. Game over. No, my, my opponent did one more damage with their shock by shocking their own creature. They dealt three damage with the shock because I didn't gain three. Gosh, it's just using a thrash as game two as gain two life. Can't use it as just gain two life. Well, I have to kill that thing. We stand together. I guess the Domri would have been a little bit more useful here with us not having anything else to go with this Ajani.
So I need to draw it. Tristani or Lyra. Or Lava Coil. Yeah. Domri, yeah, I would be able to Domri fight. And not deal one damage if this this was Domri. But I don't know. I don't really regret taking out Domri for a Johnny, but it didn't work out there. I kept a suspect hand there, hoping to draw some other stuff, and we just drew a bunch of lands. And we we drew that one spellbreaker. That was cool. The lava or whoops. The uh Lava Coil was good too. Hey Matt, GG's. Alright, this one's pretty decent. We'll try this out. I guess I only have one white source right now, so I won't I'm not able to cast feather. So I'll keep this temple garden here on top as a second white source. And hope we don't draw more lands after this. Yeah, we drew another land. course. So it looks like our opponent will get down pretty low. I think they only have two. I have just a couple cards in hand. Unfortunately, our hand is very bad. So I'm going to get rid of this electrostatic field. They can strike and shock both of my things. But we'll have a feather to whatever their cards are. You can walk away from, right? All right, a spell. Um, Not so much of a spell, I guess. All right, there we go. That's that's something that I was hoping for. And I wanted to see. I want to give myself another chance of drawing, you know, like a pump spell to protect the feather before playing it out there. And so that works. Hey, Storm. Good evening. Feather flashback. It's not bad. Wow, 
Wow, what a draw. Perfect. That lets me attack, put pressure on them, and have like the vigilance. Perfect. That vigilance with that Aurelia gives is quite nice. I think we just have lethal here. Yeah, just assuming that they just play Chain Whirl or anything. Yeah, we're just going to be killing our opponent. Yeah, we, we have lethal this next turn. We can do 13 with these cards. All right. Because Aurelia attacks for four. Wow, that's like really lethal. And Mentor's onto Feather. So they're both four. And then this makes it six. And then whenever this, or so, so yeah, so that makes that 10 total, puts them down to three. And then whenever this would come back to my hand, then I would just cast the Intervention and deal the other three. However, we just drew this thing. I mean, we just don't need to really show them this card, I guess. I can just play the cards they know about. <laughs> That's super lethal. All right, another aggro deck. Let's sideboard like before, except for definitely bringing in the Knight of Autumns this time. I guess I guess I probably should have brought in Knight of Autumns last time as well. So Thrash Thrash is kind of dif difficult to pull off. Don't want Collision. Don't want Vindicator. I don't want Domri. This is 65. Because, you know, we had to, like, have our creature alive and it's got to survive when we cast Thrash. But also, Thread is really not that bad here, though. Four mana, four fours are usually pretty good. Do cost four mana, though. Let's let's trim a bunch of Thrashes, though. Let's go like this. Yeah, Tajik dying to Shock as a three mana card is pretty rough. And like in these, against these shock decks, like yes, it can protect other things if it would survive, but it just doesn't survive. And having like a two mana card die to shock is not nearly as bad as your three mana card that only trades with like the one mana spell. That's pretty rough. annoying. I'm just going to coil a firebrand. Yeah, I guess so. Really hope they don't play a rekindling phoenix later. I'm not playing the hero precinct one that, that just gets lightning striked. I'm going to wait till next turn where I can play hero plus integrity to be able to protect hero. These firebrands are, are not bad cards. I have the next few turns all scripted out where I don't really need the coil and just prefer playing something there. Hmm. Well, I'm still going to do this. I may just use Clarion to give Aurelia 
lifelink. Yeah, Rackle Guru turned it tuned in right in time. Some good old Naya Feather. We are you know, we're playing our traditional constructed queue where we play until we win two or lose or sorry, win five or lose two. And we are one and one, so another loss spells trouble. Down to six with one card left. I'm gonna try being pretty greedy here. Hope my opponent doesn't have six points of burn next turn. I mean, all they need is five points of burn because of the firebrand. Yeah, could have gained life with Knight of Autumn, could have gained life with Intervention. I guess I could have gained life with Clarion here too, but I'm going to try to wait a turn. I'm going to go Clarion kill things. Alright, that doesn't kill us. Almost does. Not quite. Make that thing a 4-4. Clarion with lifelink. Gain 8. Yeah, those are referring to donation decks. There we go, Guru. All right, we're starting a new one. We are two and one. Get to see another match. And yeah, we're two and one. Uh, looks like we're tra traveling to the morgues to play this one. Hmm. No creatures. This is like the hand I, I kept on the... Like on the draw, I'm mulliganing this. I'll keep it again on the play against an unknown opponent. This is like the hand that I kept against the red-black deck game two that I, I lost. Which, I regret keeping that against the aggro deck. Nothing to do before turn four. Oh, and looks like we are playing an aggro deck again. Not ideal. All right, so if I, I just play the hero there, hero just dies, right? Like, they just bolt the hero, it dies. I feel bad. Uh, then I have nothing to do the next turn. So instead, yep, hero would have got shocked. Instead of that hero getting shocked like that, we'll play hero now. And then be able to counter a burn spell with integrity. Nice, Rex. I just did that earlier today, too. Got the 15 wins of Popper for the 
Glass Vivian. Just in case there's a, so I want to be able to block with both these two ones, but just in case there's a chain whirler that kills them, I'll need to block block with this hero precinct one at that point. I think. It's a good card. Uh, nothing disgusts me more than law and order. Uh. Thrash. Um. Sure. Johnny. I will teach you humility if I must. Now, do you see the benefits of They can peace? only punish you if they catch you. <laughs> so, if I would have minus the Johnny, would have protected that creature from. Um, from a bolt, but then would have protected the 10th District Legionnaire from a bolt, but then a Johnny would have died to a bolt. I don't think we really need a Johnny to die to a bolt. Let's we'll keep gaining more life. See the benefits of peace? Got a two turn clock here anyway. With me. Yeah, whatever. I don't want to take up the Domri. Just takes more clicks, more time. This game's over. If I have to light the way, I will. <laughs> Yeah, I like that one too. Now do you see the benefits no of peace? That's a good voiceover. That is good. All right, so I think whatever we did last time worked pretty well. Let's do the same thing. We're going to take out these collisions. We're going to take out three Thrash, Swifty, Tajik, uh, Domri. And there's our deck. Worked pretty well last time. All right, game two on the draw. Hmm. It's definitely a keep. I love having Deafening Clarion in this. It's just, I guess I'm not playing hero on turn two again, because I'm going to just try to go for Clarion on three. So I'm going to wait on hero then. 
So I'll just get Shockland, Shockland into play the first couple of turns. Oh, I hope that Steamkin's not too big on my third turn. I think it likely could be too big. I guess they would need to play three spells this turn, so never mind, it's not going to be too big. Well, it definitely won't be now. This is going to be such a good Clarion. Look at that horn. Look at how loud that horn is. Boom. Not going to play the Knight of Autumn until we see a Frenzy. Basically just never going to play that card. Attack. So it would be nice to draw something else. We don't really have this one quite in the bag yet. Like our opponent could draw could draw like like a Chandra would be pretty annoying, but then you know obviously drawing a frenzy, then we blow it up, then they draw another frenzy. That would be a huge trouble for us. Alright, well, they should be blocking the Hero Precinct 1 and then before damage, shooting the 1-1. One, one. Could have saved two life like that. There we go. I will teach you humility. Light shall always conquer darkness. It's my turn. Sit back and watch it burn. I guess I could have even just played the Knight of Autumn also and just make another creature there. But we good. Before minusing. All right, Naya Feather, three and one. You know, we lost the red black deck, but then beat Mono Red a couple of times. It's a good sign. I don't think I sideboarded the best against the red black or kept the best hand. Games two, game two. <laughs> I wish I could send you some wild cards for this deck, Guru. I wish I could. This is a great looking opener. Why? When are we gonna get basics with card styles? Why do I have to have like all these cool card styles, all these awesome looking cards that just look so cool? And then this thing. Look how ugly this card is compared to all these other ones. I'm not on the play. Never lucky. I can't be on the play. Bleh. So if I was on the play, I would have already attacked for two.
fifth land. Nah. That thing hits hard. Yeah, I need to just not not play any basics. And then we don't have to have those in the hand. Elephants. I kind of wish I would have kept that fifth land. Good Domri plus something else. Must be aggro Thursday. I've only seen aggro decks here. Interesting. Oh, another elephant? That makes sense. That makes sense. That's why that was their only attack. Ugh, I should have double blocked that. Keep them from playing that thing. Duh. That makes a lot of sense. Um. Yeah, Venerate Luxodons just make Mono White. It just gives Mono White just broken openers. The the games they don't have this Venerate Luxodon to the games they do are just completely different. All right, Dawnbringer, Coil, Clarions, Knights, Tristani, same sideboard. Um, I do like Thrash more than before. Huh. All right, so what do I want to take out in this matchup? I still think I want all those cards. I guess Tajik is still just small. That can come out. But, like... Domery Vindicator, I took those cards out before, but they could be pretty important here. I could see getting a bigger Vindicator. Hmm. No, I guess I'm still, because I guess, like, yeah, because we just got to cut Colossus, I, I think. Integrity has been quite strong. I guess this isn't really a, a great matchup for Integrity. That's not bad, though. Hmm. Do I just take out 10th District Legionnaire? My curve is so high. I like Domri fighting stuff, though.
don't like how many threes I have. But it's just what I got. I don't like Path of Metal in the sideboard of this deck. Path of Metal kills all of my hero precinct one tokens. I don't really like that. Feather still has a pretty good body, you know, being a 3-4 flyer is nice. And I'm not cutting all of them, like, Thrash is, like, the most important thing. Like, if we can if we can get to the point, like, where we can have, like, Feather plus Thrash, uh, that is just a great combo in this kind of matchup. You know, if we can get to that point. So Feather, you know, has a, a good respectable... Uh, creature size, and then also has that combo potential. Which is why I don't think it's worth the cut. Yeah, I think that all the Knight of Autumns are, are necessary in this matchup because Knight of Autumns are best thing at stopping History Banalia, one, and then also Conclave Tribunals, Exile, other things. Yeah, like this is definitely a Knight of Autumn matchup because of, of those two cards. Clarion's awkward for my hero. Three cards. Let's do it. <laughs> Thanks, Web Ant. We do need to draw spells, though. No more lands, please. We got six lands. We don't need any more. We could use our opponent to have. Our opponent could use some lands. That's good. Like seeing that. That attack was pretty greedy by them. I should just play the Luxodon and make their thing a 3 3. Come on, Spellbreaker, you can do it. Finish this out. Oh. All right, come on, deck. Oh, come on. So many lands. I'm not sure if I should have replaced this with something else. All right, that's fine. The card didn't do anything. Bleh. The card doesn't do anything either. Uh, 
Oh man, this game's really disappointing. If we lose this. There we go. I was trying to think of like how long it had been since we had drawn a relevant card. Because we'd only drawn lands and then the Ajani and the Domery, two cards that didn't do anything in you know, like seven or eight turns. There's a relevant card. I led with the Domery to, to see, if, uh, you know, like if they had a negate, like if they, if they do have a negate, like they may not just want to counter Domery because Domery doesn't really do anything on its own, so maybe they were waiting. Oh, I guess I should pick up Domri first. Wow. Wow, that's that's my bad. Could have just not had that creature countered. <laughs> yeah, I was punished there. That's, I'm glad to hear that, though, Matthew. Glad to hear that. All right, let's try it again. Wait, that might be me. All right, so we saw negate. We saw a disdainful stroke. I think I'm playing Integrities instead of those Johnny the Great Hearteds. Um, it's really slow at killing Benelish Marshall, but it could kill Benelish Marshall or it can help one of our creatures in combat. Get this other 10th District Legionnaire in also, actually. Let's play one Integrity. Okay, let's do that. Yeah, never punished. I know, I didn't use my Cavern of Souls mana there. I just went with the auto auto cast. Auto tap my lands instead of taking the time to use the Cavern of Souls. Well, we need white mana, but this is like my best card. So we're going to keep it. No, I don't think net decking is a bad thing. I don't think utilizing information is a bad thing. Not a white land. Come on, deck white mana. White mana. Not a good sign. So Clarion would not kill that thing anyway, because you know, like they'd be able to sacrifice. So I'm just gonna cast the coil there against these white decks with all their ascend stuff and all their venerate luxodons and, and things like that keeping their battlefield as clear as you can is 
uh, beneficial. And so, sure, I didn't get to Lava Coil a, a Benelish Marshal, for example, but I think that was worth it. Threat. Look at that beast. They're so scared of him. I will defend the weak at every opportunity. I believe in you, friend. Still no white mana. All right, so I have two choices here. I can either thrash Gideon and just kill Gideon, or I can play a 4-4. Four, four. I think I play the 4-4 four, four with having this Deafening Clarion that can give these lifelink. I believe in you. Indestructible. Do, do, do. They go on Luxodon. Yep. All right, since, they have, since these have lifelink, I'm just going to attack with both of them. Another day, villain. Could use another white mana so I can double spell. Got them down to four. Don't know exactly how we're doing the rest of the damage yet. Let me figure that one out. Stop. They need to start drawing some lands. I kind of want to destroy that Legion's landing, to be honest. I think I get the 3-3, three, three, though. It's difficult for them to actually flip the Legion's Landing.
So if I attack out this next turn, oh, come on. Blech. Three, six, one, two, three, four, five, six now. Does not make a lot of sense to attack out. Can't they draw more than three lands? Can they draw like a fourth land? Or a fifth land? Going wider than mono white. Hey, they drew a fourth land. How about that? Alright, if I attack out, they got what? Six blockers. One, two, three, four, five, six. We would do four, five, six, and then seven, eight, nine, ten. We would deal ten to them. Wait, I may have this. I guess they could block here. Yeah, I actually think I have this. Yeah, I think it's... I think all attack is lethal. I can't... If we deal 10 to them, they'll be at 7, because they'll gain 3. really has trample there so that's that's still two damage going through and then two three four four plus four is eight plus another two is ten yeah there should be ten coming through yep this looks lethal why not buff the trample token because because the six six blocks the trample token very easily has been pretty clutch for us. All right, we're four and one. We're beating the aggro decks. We beat mono red twice, then mono white the last three matches. All right, final boss time. Even though our one loss was to aggro also. We lost to red black, but I don't think I sideboarded or played that one perfectly. Learned from that one. Final boss time. Yeah, this deck is pretty sweet. I like this one. <laughs> yeah, match number one, we drew feather and feather like really helped us win both of our games but it's been basically since then <laughs> haven't seen haven't seen feather in a while yeah time for the final boss fight no green mana but we're on the draw Let's give this a try. This could do some crazy stuff. We're going to draw Stomping Grounds anyway off the top. 
Stomping Grounds. It's friend, Temple Garden. That's what I was saying. Stomping Grounds is friend, Temple Garden. That's our green source off the top. I don't have any thoughts that the Tenth District Legionnaire will survive, so I'm not gonna not keeping it back to block. Stomping ground was the next card. I called it. It was just the second card. Well, Steamkins are tough to beat on the play. Steamkins are tough to beat. Oh, I like this deck quite a bit, Fat Sheep. Yeah, this is a really fun deck to play. Games 2 and 3, though, we'll have Deafening Clarions. I think if we would have had Clarion here, uh, one of the matches against Mono Red earlier, they had turn 2 Steamkin, turn 3 Steamkin, and then we went turn 3 Clar Clarion and swept him up, and that was really nice. Gutter snipe. Please draw a land. Please draw a land. No spell, no spell. Stop looking that card in, in your hand so much. If, it, if it's any spell, we're dead to the gutter snipe. Really? But they could have just... Lightning strike to me. Hmm. Style. You got it. <laughs> Have at it, boys. Boo. It's very unlikely they were going to be able to do 18 damage before they drew another burn spell there, though. Well, that was unfortunate, the two burn spells in a row off the top. Alright, sideboard time. We figured out our sideboard plan against Mono Red. Cut three Thrash, cut three Collision, cut two Vindicator, two Tajik, two Domri, and give it a go. All right, my best card in the opener. Do you want to get some lands to be able to get towards Tristani? Um, 
but I also wouldn't really mind something to play like after the Clarion. All right, come on, Steamkin. I want this Clarion to be good. I want a Steamkin here. We only need one more land. So I, should, so I can stop asking for lands, because we only need one. All right, playing the 2 1 with haste. Legionnaires are still. They're still pretty decent. They still. Um, they're still two drops. You know, like I. I can't, I don't think I need to side them out because I don't want like the curve to be too high. I still want kind of cheap spells and sure we took out a good amount of the targeting things, but not everything. And you know, Legionnaire can still trade with like Viachino Pyromancer here, for example. So they're down to two cards. We have Frenzy covered. That's good news. I don't think I'm going to shock to be able to integrity the Aurelia. Gonna do that. Like, sure, they could have could have wizards lightning. That would be really annoying. But I was a little unlikely that they had that. Bleh. <laughs> yep, that was a little annoying. All right, Tristani, now you do a thing. They're going to attack us. All right, my turn. Ooh. No, I don't have two white mana, no. So I was all excited about this feather because we could play feather and then we could pump spell up our two, two life linkers, make them like four <clears throat> powered life linkers. All right, so instead I'm just gonna intervention this steamkin. And attack with these things. Trading off the, the whole battlefield, putting us back, double our life total from 7 to 14. Make them top deck. Alright, we've seen Risk Factor. Alright, I'm going with Knight of Autumn here. I'm just gonna, you know, play it as a five-four because I can Clarion give it Life Link. <clears throat> and with that, with us seeing Risk Factor Gutter Snipe, there's a chance they they're just not playing Frenzy. Of course, we dock. Mm 
Did they draw the land to be able to do both? No, risk factor down. Gonna do the old Bolton block. Perfect. Definitely glad drew another creature. All right, so this is actually this is kind of a problem now that I think about it. If I go Clarion three damage plus Life Link, Life Link, then uh, if that last card is a removal spell and they just kill my Tristani, then my Feather and my Knight of Autumn die also. No, Feather doesn't die, just Knight of Autumn. Alright, that's worth it. Get Gutter Snippers out of here. Wow. That is not the correct thing to shock at all. Not in the slightest. Looks like we're going to a game three. 20 to one. Do they got the comeback? No. All it took was us drawing two of our Clarions. Student of, War Student of Warfare was a really cool card. Rise of Eldrazi. That was a cool card. You're clueless on how to build singleton decks. You just you just go find all of your favorite cards and you put one of each of them in there. It's pretty easy. But yeah, I'll I'm sure I'll build a like a green white singleton deck to put up on I'll put up on the stream decker and everything. Um but yeah, that that all makes sense about Aurelia. Yeah, Aurelia's been really impressive for us during these games. I've liked it quite a bit. Another question here, between Esper Duels and Grixis Duels, what do you think would be better to get? Esper seems like a better deck, but getting the shocks for Grixis are in all the guilds. Um, I mean, still, like, probably, like, moving forward, as far as the shocks go, probably Esper. Esper kind of has everything with, like, the Teferis, and, uh, like, even after rotations, like, it has, like, the three-mana Teferi, and it has... Um, you know, Narset, Dovin's Veto, Kaya's Wrath, Mortify, Oath of Kaya. You know, it kind of just has everything. I probably recommend that. Like, Grixis is losing, you know, like, Nicol Bolas, the Ravager, and some other important cards and stuff. So if you had to choose one of those... Um, that's the way I'd recommend. Um, yes, London Mulligan rule is going to be after when Corset 2020 comes out. London Mulligan rule is going to be the the Mulligan rule for every format in Magic. There will be the current Mulligan rule will be no more. But we need another land to like play any, any of our stuff. Like if I want to play interventions, we need four mana.
It's annoying. I really don't think I can can block there though. I think I have to wait a turn. Comes out next month. Looking really bad for us. Looking really bad for us. These risk factors, I wish I had July. I guess I needed to thrash the field last turn instead of playing hero. That field just did two damage to me. And I can't I can't afford that two damage. Now it's about to be a third damage. Yeah, I guess I needed to just thrash field last turn. Okay. That's not more damage. Um, Bellhaunt still matches up pretty decent against Gruul, mostly, like, with that life gain and everything. Like, not spectacular, because Spellbreaker and Growth Chamber Guardian, like, those cards turn into 4-4s, four and so it's not, it's not perfect. Um, Bellhaunt's pretty good, though. Yeah, we have we have 23 lands in our deck. Pretty it's not like it's not incredibly low, but didn't draw any of this game. Sir Tails with that tier 2 sub. Thank you so much for that support. Especially that tier 2. You are awesome. Thank you so much there, Sir Tails. Definitely getting that hype there in the channel. Our second sub of the day. We beat Mono Red the other times we played it, so I think we were about due to lose. The Risk Factors, that's not a card you see a ton in Mono Red, and those have been awesome. But, yeah, looks like I'm dead. I think my only out right now is like. I mean, just my only way to even stay alive for a little bit is Clarion, but I don't think that's really an out. But that would at least let me stay alive for a little bit. I, mean, I may just be dead just to, to Steamkin.
Clara, I'm gonna get my Spellbreaker Life Link. <laughs> Your opponent's with the slow, slow burn here. Do they just have a shock? And they could have just played field shock like that whole time? Okay. All right, well, Wizards Lightning finishes me off. We died. Game over. I think our deck played pretty well, though. Yeah, I think we were pretty unfortunate there with that uh, last loss, how we were just sitting there on three mana uh, that whole time. Um, but I think I think it would, it did play our deck played pretty well against Mono Red overall. Um, and yeah, like our other loss, I think I could have played that one better. But yeah, this deck went pretty good. We we only played against aggro decks all all six rounds. It was only aggro, and the fact that we like won four to the six against against aggro, where I think that I could have you know could have put myself well, I don't know if I could have put myself in a better position to win that last one. We just you know we had some unfortunate things happen. I guess that's a good thing. To, that's a good way to say it. Of both of our losses, kind of showed that we can really hold our own against aggro. And even succeed there, and that's a good spot to be in with being a three color. Another like being also being an aggro deck, but being three color. Usually you kind of struggle against other aggro decks with that. But this worked out pretty well. Um, yeah, I don't think anything really to change. We didn't. I mean, you know, like our Tajiks and Swiftblade Vindicators didn't do anything there, but just because we only played against aggro matches, so we were just sideboarding them out the whole time. Uh, but like against mid-range decks like green creature decks you, you really want like those vindicators to do a whole lot of damage and they they can it just gives you you know some more two drops than just the eight that really helps you curve out because like vindicator into Tajik into Aurelia or anything like that uh, Dom repumping vindicator or any of these pump spells it can do a ton of damage it's just not so good against the red decks and that's what we played so many of those but Knife Feather is a fun deck to play, and I enjoyed it, and we'll get back to it again sometime soon. Yeah, it's a, it's a cool deck. All right, so if you're watching this video later on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit the like button over there. Uh, and yeah, that's it for Knife Feather. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for another video.